In this video, we will learn how to do conversions between the metric and household systems. We will do this by using dimensional analysis. The objectives for this video is one, to convert within the household system, and two, convert from household system to metric system. This will be very important while nursing because most medications are based on the metric system, while in America we use the household system for most normal measurements. So our first example is going to be conversion within the household system. So we want to know how many cups are there in a grande coffee. So if we look over here, it tells us that the grande is 16 ounces. So step one, when we're doing dimensional analysis, you want to write down what you're starting with and what you want to end with. So in this case, we are starting with ounces. So we started with the 16 ounces and we want to get two cups because it's asking for how many cups. So we want to get to our cup. Number two, we want to find a conversion that relates the two units. The conversion that relates these two units from that chart is one cup equals eight ounces. So now that we have our conversion, we're going to start with what we know and make sure our undesired units cancel out. So our first fraction here is starting with what we know. We know we have 16 ounces. And I'm just going to put this over one because we have nothing else with that fraction. Now we need to multiply it by our conversion. So we can see that one cup equals eight ounces. So we wanna make that our fraction. And to cancel out a unit in the top, the matching unit must go in the bottom. So we can see that our 16 ounces was on the top. So our eight ounces must go on the bottom so that they can cancel out. Once those are canceled out, you want to make sure you're left over with what you want on the top. So here we wanted cup and we have cup on the top, so we are good. We can stop. So our last step, we want to multiply straight across and simplify. So we're going to do 16 times the 1 and 1 times the 8, which would give us 16 over 8, ends up with 2 cups. So our 16 ounces is two cups. So the last part here is household to metric conversion. So this question, an infant weighs eight pounds, six ounces at birth. How many kilograms does the infant weigh? So for some perspective, the average birth weight is 7.5 pounds or 3.4 kilograms. So if you remember that the average weight of a baby is 3.4 kilograms and you end up with 10 kilograms, you know something's wrong because that would be like a 20 pound baby. So make sure you remember just to give yourself some perspective so you can check your answers at the end. So again, we're gonna start off with our first step. We want to go from pounds and ounces to kilograms. Now this one's a little different because we have two units going into one unit. So number two, still the same thing. We're gonna write down the conversions we have. So we have 2.2 pounds and is one kilogram and 16 ounces is one pound. So again, we're gonna start off with what we know. And in this case, we do not have a conversion for ounces to kilograms, so we need to get the ounces to pounds first. So that's what we're doing here. We're getting our ounces, starting with those, using our conversion, 16 ounces in a pound, and we're going to cancel out the ounces, end up with the pounds, and we get 0 0.375 pounds. So now we have our ounces to pounds, so both of our units are in pounds, so we can just add those together to get our total amount of pounds. So adding those together, we get 8.375 pounds, and then we're going to use our conversion for kilograms to pounds. So we have our 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram. So again, start with what we know. The pounds have to go on the bottom to cancel out with the pounds on the top. So cancel, cancel. We end up with our kilograms and we get 3.07, rounding to the thousands place because it is less than 10. You should now be able to convert within the household system and convert from household system to metric system using dimensional analysis. And don't forget to memorize your household and metric conversion charts so you'll be able to convert without any trouble.